Viewer Darcy Flowers asks, does an umbilical hernia affect a puppy chihuahua? Will she die? That's an excellent question, Darcy, because umbilical hernias are fairly common in chihuahuas and some other dog breeds. So I know there's a lot of other people who might be asking the same. So in this video, I'm going to give you my experience with umbilical hernias and the best way to deal with it if your sweetie pie has one. As a disclaimer, I do want to say that I am not a medical expert, so you always want to seek the advice of a trusted veterinarian. However, I do have some excellent vets who I've worked closely with for over 20 years and I truly trust their advice. Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. So, what is an umbilical hernia? An umbilical hernia is a weakness in the muscles of the abdominal wall, which can allow fluids, fat, or even the intestines to push through. In fact, it usually just looks like a little bump or maybe even an outie belly button. Usually they're very small, and by small I mean about the size of a pencil eraser. And if you push on it with your finger, it should have sort of a squishy feeling and the intestines or whatever's poking out should squish back inside the abdominal wall. But then once you remove your finger, it'll pop back out. That's how you know it's a hernia. So, does that mean you should panic? Well, first of all, you should never panic. Because remember, dogs can read your energy. So if you're feeling upset, your sweetie pie is also going to feel upset. Fortunately, while some hernias can be serious, most puppies with this condition are not severely affected by it. If it's a small hernia and a young puppy, then sometimes it'll actually close up on its own as your puppy grows and strengthens. If that happens, awesome, no need to worry about it. And in some cases, if it's a small hernia, even if it's never fixed, a dog can live its entire life without having any ill effects or discomfort from the hernia. Now the doctors at my vet are geniuses and they always give it to me straight. I cannot reiterate with all of my viewers just how important it is to find a good veterinarian who is honest and smart with their medicine. In the 20 years that I've been breeding, I have learned that not all vets are equal. Surprise! Some of them are better at the money-making side of it and prefer to upsell a la carte medical treatments. After all, they have fancy offices and cars to pay for. Don't get me wrong, veterinarians are extremely important and I truly respect mine. But before I found the vets that I have now who I truly love and respect, I've had a few bad experiences with other veterinarians. I mean, sheesh, please don't go to the most aggressive testing and treatment on every little tiny issue. All that does is waste money and stress out your little sweetie pie with all that poking and prodding. Sometimes you should just start with the simplest thing and go from there. At my vet, I've learned that a small umbilical hernia is not concerned enough to rush your puppy into surgery. What my vet recommends, if it's a small hernia, and not causing any ill effects or discomfort, simply wait until your sweetie pie is already going in for their spay or neuter surgery, and then have it repaired. At that point, your sweetie pie is already under anesthesia, and all it takes is a couple little stitches to close up the abdominal wall. Abdominal wall, abdominal wall. At that point, your sweetie pie is already under anesthesia, and all it takes is a couple little stitches to close up the abdominal wall. Voila! Done all at once, with no additional risk of going under anesthesia a second time. Adding a couple extra stitches while your sweetie pie is already under anesthesia should only take a few minutes and a good vet should only charge you about 75 to 150 extra dollars. If your vet gives you a much more expensive quote, I recommend you go find a second or third opinion. Now if your sweetie pie is one of the unlucky ones with a very large hernia, that's definitely reason to go ahead and get the surgery done and not wait for the spay or neuter surgery. The reason is because if the opening becomes too large, that could cause complications with the intestines poking through and becoming kinked and that would be a medical emergency. So keep an eye on the size of it, and every now and then, go ahead and poke it back in to see if it feels the same as it did before, and ask your vet if it's small enough to wait until the spay and neuter surgery to repair it. Who knows, maybe you'll be the lucky one whose puppy outgrows her hernia, and then you don't have to worry about it at all. So that's my experience with umbilical hernias. It's fairly common, often harmless, the size needs to be monitored, and it's easily repaired by your veterinarian. And they shouldn't charge you an arm and a leg to close it up especially if they can wait to do it until your puppy's already ready to go in for surgery. So I hope I answered your question, Darcy, and good luck to you and your sweetie pie. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.